morning everyone. Happy 18th of October. I hope you're all doing well. I have, gosh, I got up, I think I got up a bit later than normal today because it's my flexi day so I'm working at home and I got up about six because I always make my partner a cup of tea for when his alarm goes off at half six. So I'm usually up anyway so it, it's no bother to me plus it's just nice to do something nice for him. And I think it helps him wake up, I'm not sure. But it is now, what time is it? It's now 20 past eight. I have basically been working since I got up <laughs> because I have a lot to do today in terms of work. And I also have a lot of other plans that I really want to do, like dyeing yarn and tying in the ends of my mystery knit along. Um, yeah, so I'm trying my best to catch up with work. But I got super distracted because I realised I haven't done my own bookkeeping. <laughs> for this year um, and I know I, I like to keep on top of things so I was like oh my gosh I have six months of bookkeeping to do so I just went ahead and did all that because I'm weird like that <laughs> and I like to keep up to date but apparently I haven't done that this year so I was very shocked <laughs> but it is done now I'm up to date I'm whew, relieved um, <clears throat> so yeah that's done so now I can really really crack on with my clients work which is fantastic um, I also wanted to hop on and just give you some updates on the crafty stuff that I got up to last night. Um, I didn't do any of my pink fizz, it is still here. I did take it to bed with me, um, but I was so tired and I went to bed late because um, I, I stayed up watching Netflix. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's always like one more episode of what I'm watching and then... <clears throat> excuse me one more episode of what I'm watching and then we'll you know go to bed but apparently no that, that was not happening um so yeah I didn't do a lot however what I did do <clears throat> is I finished all the body parts for Margot this one so I, yeah I got really into it last night so here's her beak that's done um she has two wings oh gosh I'm gonna drop something in a minute two wings she has her tail and she has her two legs which you've already seen but I'll show you again there we go the two legs and her body so all I have to do for Margot now is sew her up but there is one more in the queue prior to sewing up Margot which is um Lydia the the goose so I've been working on her this morning when I had breakfast oh, sewed on her other leg so that is um <clears throat> done so right, my neighbor's just walking home and I was like oh my gosh I must look so weird <laughs> anyway um <clears throat> so I have her two wings to sew on I have her tail where's her beak oh it's over here and then I have her beak so before I can sew up Margot I need to sew up Lydia really Lydia the goose um yeah the legs are on so that's always the bit that I don't enjoy as much so hopefully I can get her sewn up today I don't know why my voice is so croaky this morning <laughs> it's just being it's the morning um yeah so I think I'm gonna get myself a coffee and then I'm gonna crack on with my clients work hopefully I can get the majority of it done before lunch um <clears throat> but it's quite a flexible um job so it's quite nice in the sense that I can potter around while I'm waiting for things so yeah um I'm gonna start doing that alongside I might put some laundry on I'm just looking at the weather it's not great today I'm still waiting for yesterday's laundry to dry it's that time of year we can't get the laundry out so <laughs> and we don't have a um a dryer uh, it's not something me and my partner wanted um, so yeah, we dry clothes the old fashioned way, um, on eras around the house, which looks very attractive this time of year, but that's just the way we do it. Uh, yeah, so <clears throat> I'm going to get myself a drink because apparently I need it and I'm going to get stuck in with my client's work. And also, I will try my best to do some crafting today. I will try to do some yarn dyeing today because I really would like to. Yeah, it's going to be a very all over the place today. Um, there's also a lot of parcels arriving today, including the giant toilet paper delivery that's going to be coming. Oh, my gosh. 
<laughs> I love it when it comes because then I know that we're sorted for the year in terms of toilet paper and uh, paper towels. That's what I meant to say, not tissue paper the last time I mentioned it. Paper towels. That'll be arriving. There's gonna The house is going to be filled with toilet paper. I've got to figure out where I'm going to squirrel it all away because this house does not have a lot of storage, but uh, that's going to be fun. Exciting afternoon. <laughs> anyway, I will speak to you all in just a little bit. everyone just a little check-in it is lunchtime there is chaos in the house because I did set up my dyeing equipment um, so the kitchen is kind of out of action at the minute until the dyeing is finished and then I can actually clean up and use the kitchen again but yes I don't have a specific room for dyeing unfortunately I do do it in the kitchen but I do have a bain marie so I'm going to just turn you there you go. So that is my little ban, ban Marie. Um, whenever I do dye yarn, I do it in very small batches. So there's four, I think you can see it here actually, there's four skeins of yarn in that bath. I'm trying something new here, so it looks a bit weird, but yeah, that's what I'm trying anyway. So I've got one in here, or sorry, four skeins in here just dyeing up. Um, yeah, so we'll see how this goes. I do have another batch over there, not another bamery, it's just another one of these that's on the cooker um, because it's gone through this process and I'm doing the second stage over there. Um, I may do you a little video of it, um, but yeah, that's that's the bamery. Um, it does need a bit of a, a clean on the outside, but it's clean on the inside, that's what matters. But yeah, I really like these because they just kind of heat up to one temperature. Hello. <laughs> they just kind of heat up to one temperature and then I don't have to worry about the yarn getting too hot because I can keep it at that temperature, which is great. Um, and yeah, it's just sort of cooking up. That's like sizzling away. It's not sizzling. That'd be really bad news if it was sizzling. <laughs> but yeah, it's just cooking away. And uh, I'm starving. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I need to eat my lunch. So I might have to do a sandwich on the table back there. Um, these things we do, hey? But yes, uh, work has gotten the better of me. I am still going and I reckon it's going to be an all day job because there is a lot of work to do. So I really need to get that done today and then I can let my client know what the updates are and what I need from him. So yeah, it's all, it's all a bit much today. I was not expecting it to be as hectic as it has been, but there we go, such is the life, hey? Um, as a result, I've not done any more crafting from what I showed you this morning. I'm hoping I can, you know, do a little bit this afternoon. I will try and cut off at three um, and then do a little bit this afternoon of crafting and then I might have something more to show you. No promises on that, but I will be checking in anyway. Um, I am hoping that the postman brings me some goodies, but we shall see. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to grab myself some food and yeah, I will check back with you later. Good afternoon, everyone. Just a quick check in it's all right I was just checking that you couldn't see the mess of the kitchen oh it's a state um just another check-in I have just finished work it's about half two so really pleased to be finished because I am shattered today that was quite the challenging day um my yarn is still cooking away in the kitchen oh you can see it <laughs> one batch is just in I'm just checking my timer uh in about 10 minutes that yarn the first batch will be ready to start hanging out to dry but it is windy as anything outside yeah you can see it's pretty windy out there 
Um, it is also very wet, so I don't think it's going outside <laughs> after all. But never mind, never mind. I thought it was snowing then. No, it's definitely not snowing. It's definitely not snowing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah, obviously I've got to tidy the kitchen. It's a right mess. Um, and my giant delivery has arrived, so I've got to try and put that all away now because I have three large boxes of supplies. Um, as I said, those supplies will usually last us for an entire year. Um, so yeah, it's just a matter of putting it all away, which uh, is a bit of a task. Because <laughs> this house, it's not built for storage. But um, yeah, I've not done a lot of crafting, but I will turn you around just to show you what is happening on the table. My apologies, quick spoiler warning uh, before I turn you round. My Mystery Knit Along by Stephen West Geo Gradient is on the table and you are about to see it. So spoiler warning, if you don't want to see anything to do with um, Clue 1 and Clue 2 of Geo Gradient, I am about to show it. Spoiler warning. Okay. Okay, so this is what's happening with the table. Um, ignore my little snack it's uh, just a smoothie but um yeah so this is what's happening i um this is my mystery knit along obviously it is upside down because i am currently attempting to sew in some more ends uh this section's looking pretty nice um but there's a lot of ends up here so i really want to tackle those my computer is on so i might do some gaming while i tie those ends in um, equally, here is Margot. She is ready to be pieced together. I also have my book out. Um, I need to get all the yarn for the next bird of Christmas. Um, so I need to take this bag upstairs. This is my bag. Um, I usually, when I finish a bird, um, I usually take this bag upstairs where all my stash is and then I will empty it of what it's got in there so it's got the remnants of Margot in there. Um, I'll take all of that out and then I will grab what I need for the next bird, so in this case this one here, and then I will put it in this bag, bring this bag back downstairs, put it by the sofa and then I've got everything I need for the next bird. Margot's probably going to go in a baggie and then here is Lydia. Again I need to get her sorted and here's the bag that Lydia was in so Margot and Lydia will go in that bag um but yeah that, that that's the situation on the table right now um I'll take this up with me actually while I'm sorting everything out but yep that is where we are at right now so yes <laughs> I have a fair amount to do today this afternoon um I usually go swimming on a Wednesday um swimming lessons. Um, so when I was younger, I had problems with my ears. As a result, I have, I do have a hearing issue. So I am supposed to wear hearing aids, little fun fact about me. Um, so if you do ever meet me somewhere and I, you know, you say hello and I don't respond, it could be that I haven't actually heard you. So please don't be offended <laughs> because I like to think I don't have a hearing problem, so I don't wear my hearing aids, but I need hearing aids. So just a little fun fact about me, there you are. Um, but anyway, I don't know where I was, oh yes. So as a result of my hearing, uh, my ear issues and my hearing problems as a child, I never learned to swim as a child because I wasn't allowed in water, which wasn't great. Um, so yeah, I am now taking swimming lessons, adult swimming lessons. Um, and it's going really, really well. I started, I think, last year in the beginner class, and then I have since graduated, if you will, into the improver class, and I can now do, I mean, breaststroke is my favourite anyway. Um, I can now do breaststroke, front crawl, and backstroke quite happily. Um, I can also tread water, and I love I love going underwater. I mean, I used, I used to love going underwater anyway, but it's been such a massive confidence boost being able to do these swimming lessons because my confidence in water has improved dramatically and it's one of the best things I've ever done. Having said that, I don't know if I'm going tonight purely because I'm absolutely shattered. <laughs> I'm so tired. And when I do go, oh my gosh, you can see the lovely state that the kitchen is in. 
the shame of it, it'll be beautiful, absolutely glorious by the time my partner gets home, it will be spick and span. But anyway, um, story corner with me. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love swimming now, absolutely adore it, and yeah. But I don't know if I'm going tonight, I'll have to see how I feel, because I've got to make tea, and tea's got to be made early, and I've not done any of that, the kitchen is just round, I don't think it's happening tonight. <laughs> Next week, next week I'll be back on it, so... Anywho, enough of that, I've got so much to do. I will speak to you all in a little bit. Good afternoon, everyone. I am back for my final check-in of today. Oof, what a busy one. <laughs> it has been a lot busier than planned, um, but hey, that such is life, right? Um, right, so I've got a couple of things to go through with you, but first, I have almost decided that I am going swimming tonight. I found a frozen meal in the freezer, so I usually make a vegetable curry and I usually have that on the nights that I go swimming, but I, I thought I'd eaten it all, but I found one in the freezer, so I've got that out of the freezer, it's defrosting, I should be able to eat that in good time prior to swimming, so I'll be able to go swimming tonight, if I choose. I'm going to aim to go swimming, I'll see how I feel come leaving the house time, but as it stands, I'm gonna go swimming, it's very exciting. Um, but anyway, I have a couple of things to go through with you this afternoon, not a lot, um, because I didn't manage to get any limb, any more limbs sewn onto either Lydia or Margot. They are still as they were when I showed you the table of the disaster zone, basically. Um, I have, however, tied in some more ends of my mystery knit along. So, spoiler warning, I'm about to show my Mystery Knit Along, uh, Stephen West Mystery Knit Along Geo Gradient, both Clue 1 and Clue 2. So, spoiler warning, I am about to show the Mystery Knit Along. So here it is, this will be no surprise if you have been watching um, my spoilers. Um, but this is my Clue 1, which was Inez's version of Clue 1. So this is Pink Queen Yarn's version, which I absolutely love. And then my both uh, both sides of clue two are done section nine and ten i think it was so all of that is done what i have been doing that is different is i have been tying in my ends so it's a slow process obviously because i am not it's not my favorite so i've managed to get a fair amount done um i think you can actually see that a fair amount has been done especially is it that side yeah especially this side um, the lower section, not so much, and then there's some ends here, because these are quite troublesome as well. But I'm, I'm getting there. I am definitely getting there with the ends situation, so I may be able to get a few more tied in before I go swimming tonight, um, which is great. So whether I'll be able to get them all tied in for tomorrow, I don't know, but that is, that, you know, I'm going to try. I'm going to it's not, it won't be for lack of trying, basically. <laughs> but that is where we're at. I don't know about you, but I am very, very excited for tomorrow because tomorrow is the release day of Clue 3. And I am really, really looking forward to seeing where we work, what the next section is. Um, I'm assuming we're going to be carrying on with these live stitches and increase the length of it. Um, whether we'll go out from both sides like that way and that way, I don't know. Um, or he might throw a curveball at us and it might be something totally different. We might be picking up the I chord. I don't know. What do we what, what do you think? What sort of shape do you think we're gonna go in next? Um, I'm imagining, as I said, this direction and the other direction, whether it'll be straight or whether we're gonna come off and extend like down there and up there I don't know mm, but that's kind of where I'm my brain is heading in terms of techniques I have no idea do we think the mohair dare is still going to be with us um who knows only Stephen knows and his testers of course but yeah I'm really really excited for tomorrow really excited for the clue and if my ends aren't all tied in I'm sorry but I am picking up and knitting <laughs> That is how it's going to be. Um, right. Also, I have one more thing to share with you that's going to be happening tomorrow. And I have been so excited for this for some time. Um, 
if you have been keeping up with the vlogmas at uh, vlogmas oh my goodness it's definitely not vlogmas vlogtober if you have been keeping up with my little vlogtober series you will know that tomorrow i will be opening this so this is this box is already open but this is the um halloween 13 days of halloween box that i bought from beehive yarns and I'm so excited, I'm so excited to start opening it because inside here, I'm gonna lift this, let's um, kind of try not to let it fall everywhere, but there we go, this is the box. So if I pop it down a minute, this box is, as I said, a 13 days of Halloween box. So there are 13 20 gram minis in this box. They are all wrapped up, so I don't know what they are, similar to an advent. So here's number one, for example, in a lovely packaging. So from tomorrow, I will be opening these. There are 13 20 gram minis, as I said. There is a very cheeky little box that I don't know what is inside, but I'm going to open this tomorrow. So these two, I'm gonna to open tomorrow. Also in this box, we have had some really nice little stickers. So I'll be sticking those to my yarn trolley, uh, my craft trolley. It's probably that way, isn't it? And then that one. So I'll be sticking these to my yarn craft trolley. I keep saying yarn trolley. There is also a really cute little badge as well, which I really like. That's really nice. And also a lollipop. So I don't know when I'm gonna eat this lollipop, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. Or I might eat it after my bike ride on Sunday. I'm not sure, but yes. Um, also, ah, oh, yes, yeah, so this is a 13 days of Halloween box and it's inspired by the Netflix, Netflix show Wednesday. And I'm really excited to see what colors we're gonna get because I love the aesthetic of this show. And that's why I had to have this box. So yeah, I am super duper excited. So here is the box with all the lovelies that I'm gonna be opening with you from tomorrow until the 31st of October. That'll be one a day, very exciting. I don't know what I'm gonna make yet, but on the back of this card, Beth has written a number of pattern ideas, which is absolutely brilliant to inspire us uh, as to what we can make. And then also um, inside the box, we have this. So Wednesday, 13 days of Halloween, colorway names. So I will be able to tell you the names of the colorways as I open them, which is great. Finally, on the 31st of October, I, do, I did purchase a cheeky extra 100 gram tonal. So I'll be opening this um, on the 31st. So yeah, if you're interested, then, that will be happening from tomorrow. And I am so excited because as I say, I've been waiting to open it, open this box since it arrived a while ago. Um, well, a few weeks, yeah, quite a few weeks ago now actually. So I am super excited to get stuck into that. So yeah, stay tuned if you're interested, that will be starting tomorrow. So tomorrow's gonna to be super exciting. I will probably open it in the morning. I'll try and record opening it. I'm not sure how it's gonna go yet, but I'll, I'll figure something out. Um, but yeah, I am very very excited to start opening that box so yeah there we go that's what's coming up right now um i'm gonna have to leave that there because i need to edit this video i've edited it i've edited most of the video i just need to add this final snippet in edit it for you then i need to produce it and then upload it to youtube so that it will be available for you tonight so I need to get that done and then I will make my tea. I will sit and do some more ends on my mystery knit along and I might try and sew in, sew some limbs on, on Lydia the goose. Um, we shall see, but yes. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that there. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, yeah, I'm just so, so grateful. Uh, obviously, if you can think of anything that you would like to see, please comment below and I'll see what I can do. Um, in terms of this series, obviously it will be finishing on the 31st of October and then I'll be back to my regular schedule. Um, but I will be taking part in Vlogmas as well because I have a number of advents arriving soon. The advent that was posted last week, it hasn't arrived yet. So I'm hoping that it's gonna arrive either tomorrow or Friday. Um, I believe that's possibly what the schedule is for the arrival of the advent, but anyway, 
enough of that I keep waffling I'm gonna leave that there thank you so so much for watching I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day and I look forward to seeing you in my next video